to you. Yeah. And the question is, since we have uh, over 250 ethnic nationalities, how will representatives of each uh, of this nationality be chosen, and what number should represent each nationality? Well, we have, um, we have looked at it very carefully in Afeni Ferry. We believe that uh, we may begin to create some problems. If we want to insist, it's just so that, oh, yes, the uh, representation should be on the basis of uh, each nationality groups, and then we begin to fight that, oh, uh, uh, Mapo will say, okay, in our village, you are so an nationality, you have never recognized us, and the rest. Okay. Instead of, to avoid all that, let us use the existing six geopolitical zones. As all the nationalities are spread across these six zones on the basis of equal representation by the six zones. That solves the problem of uh, the question of uh, uh, going to uh, say we are. I mean, there's no international in Nigeria today that's not located within these geopolitical zones. And all we need to have is to have is a, a, a national conference commission that will not have zonal conference commissions. Who will, who will this will be to sort out to organize this election because we cannot do the election based on the present state structure. It has to be on the basis of the groups within each geopolitical zones. In that way. We we'll avoid the conflict of the question of, oh, there are 400 nationalities, or oh, there are 2,000, or oh, there are 3,000. We have lived with these geopolitical zones. Let that be the of representation. What do you say about the timing? What's wrong with that? We cannot have a better time to do it than now. It's the best time. I heard some people are saying 2015 is almost here. The presidency only has like two years left in its term. You know, there are all these permutations as to, you know, is it really feasible to carry out this? to have a thorough discussion within the time that we have left, or within the time that the president has? Well, I think those who are doing saying that, why now? Those are the politicians who are only focused on the next elections and are not focusing on the fate of this country and the future generations. Look, there's no better time to do that now. I say we are waiting for a situation where the United Nations will come and be sorting us out after we have fought ourselves to stand still. For even for the politicians, this is the best opportunity for them to have a country within which they can fight for elections. But for those of them who are focusing on, oh, yes, this is our time to go and replace PDP and start with what they are doing, they think that, oh, if you do a conference now, they will change things for us, you know. Look, as Nigeria is considered today, given all the divisions, all the tensions, if you go and hold elections the way we are, without building some consensus, you are preparing for a war. And I paint the political examples. Let's give a synthetic scenario. Assuming uh, go, President Jonathan emerges the president candidate of PDP in 2015, and the APC plus new PDP produce another candidate, tell me, will Gulo Jonathan go to UB, but no, and not the book of the kids as they vote for me? Or would that another candidate, as Nigeria could say now, go to Baisa, go to Rivers, and they say, okay, I, I, I won't vote? The other time, five five million governors went to the US. They changed, they, they, they were they were, they were, they were, they were stoned. So this is not, so if, if if you don't have politicians who are blind by ambition, they should know that it's even their best interest. Those of us who say that we let us discuss, let's have some dialogue, let's lay a new base of this country. We are not have to give them a, a safe a, a, a safe landing, soft landing. If they go to elections the way they want to go now, they won't crash land. So the dialogue is uh, imperative. It's imperative. It, it, we need it more than any time than now. With is the is the is the, is the critical thing now, much more important than the 2015 elections. But why why is it that uh, I still will come to political parties? Yeah. So we really can't run away from it. Why is it that the vibe we're getting from, uh, especially the opposition parties, is that uh, well, it's not right? Yeah, because they they, they they think that given what's on the ground now, this is the best time for them to go and take the cookie jar. And uh, is that what politics is it's about? All about. It's, it, they are, they are self-serving. They are self-serving. They are not about us. If, if it's about us, look, they, I think, and I think the politicians, they are, they are going to push people against, the, against them. They will be able to do the audits. Since 1999, what have all these politicians done for us across parties? In 1999, under Senator Abacha, under the military, the instance of poverty in Nigeria was 46%. In 15 years, they have sunk us into deeper poverty that poverty in Nigeria today is over 70%. And between 1999 and now, the money this, this country has made is more than the money this country made between 1960 and 1999. Where's the money? They have all of them that they are, they are, they are parading jets all over the place. 
So the city government was telling you that uh, my gate is not nine billion, it's seven billion naira. Can uh, this also form some of the discussions from among the people? Oh, definitely. The people are watching them. You know, the question, a major question will be, and which we also posed to Mrs. Briggs, or Ms. Briggs, was how do we have this discussion without the influence of politicians, since we distrust them so much? Oh, yeah, we definitely. It's, we are, we, what we want to have is a people's conference. If you're a politician, I want to go to this conference, you must go to your people and let them make you delegates. But you not come there and say, because I'm PDP, I'm APC, I'm uh, whatever. No, it's that's not going to be allowed. Uh, the, the question is, uh, you say... The process already has been politically driven. It's coming from the top, right? Yes. And that, that definitely the top is, is as a result, is an outcome of politics. So how then do we now say we're totally excluding politicians from this particular process? Is that feasible? Well, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a political party that's facing the conference. It's the president of Nigeria in the with National Assembly. It's government, not party. Not party. So... Parties are dis they, they constitute a distraction, and they are not in many cases they are not the ones to hold a national conference. They can go and hold all political all political summits and bring their recommendations to the, to the conference, but they are not the ones to be at the conference. Well, uh, we, we, I'm afraid that's all we can take. Well, awful moment, a holiday, and you say a huge traffic build up yes, sure. in parts of Lagos. Yes. Well, anyway, thanks for finding time to join us. Ian Odubaki, spokesman for Affenifere.